So we have the interval of x to the 3 quarters power over 2 times parentheses radical x plus 1. Pause the video if you want to try this, and I would suggest a u substitution. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. In some cases, we would pick u to be square root of x plus 1, u equal to the square root of x. The problem here is that we have two radical expressions. It's not just a square root because the numerator x to the 3 quarters power is the same thing as the fourth root of x to the third. So when you have a situation like this where you have a cube root involved, a fourth root or a square root, whatever, you do something like this. So let's let x equal to, if you look at the square root of x, that's the same thing as the x to the 1 half. So the fractions we have here are 1 half and 3 fourths. Lowest common denominator there is 4. So I'm going to let x equal to u to the fourth. That's the LCD of 2 and 4. Because in that, in that case, I could do something like this. Obviously, I want to represent this integrand in terms of u, another variable, and see what happens with the integration there. Makes it a lot easier, maybe. So let's take the fourth root, or say the 3 quarters power of both sides here. So I want a representation for x to the third x to the 3 fourths power. So taking the 3 fourths power here of both sides. 3 fourths power of this side over here will give me u to the third power. So from this one right here, taking the derivative of the differential there, dx would equal to, and the derivative of the right side, looking at this one right here, is 4 u to the third du. And then I need a representation for the square root of x, so x to the 1 half. So taking the 1 half power, looking at the first one here, of both sides, I'll get x to the 1 half. And then the 1 half power of u to the 4th would give me u squared. We got that. This is going to equal to then, the integral, x to the 3 fourths power here is u to the 3rd. And then we need a representation for dx. So we have it right here. dx is equal to 4 u to the 3rd du. So to be times replacing dx by 4 u to the third du. In the denominator, I'll have a 2 here, and in the parentheses, the square root of x or x to the 1 half, that's replaced by u squared. And I have a plus 1 here. And then to simplify this a little bit, so over here, this is equal to the integral. So we've got 2 in the bottom, a 4 on top, so 2 into 4 give me a 2 here. I'll put a 2 right there. This this reduce and then u to the third times u to the third is u to the six then i got the du and then that's over u squared plus one and you would think well this looks like partial fractions but the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator so we want to simplify this so i'm going to go ahead and divide the denominator into the numerator so i'll do that over here so this will be 2u to the 6 divided by u squared plus 1. So that's just regular long division. So we go u to the squared, have it in descending powers here. So u to the squared divided into 2u to the 6 will give me a 2u to the 4th. And then we multiply 2u to the 4th times u squared will give me a 2 here, u to the 6. And then multiply the 1. So all we're doing is multiplying that partial quotient times the divisor. This is going to be 2 u to the 4th. And then we subtract. So 2 to the 4th, subtract uh, 2, 2 u to the 6 minus 2 u to the 6. These cancel out. And then here it's just 0. So 0 subtract 2 u to the 4th will give me a 2 minus 2 u to the 4th. So we continue. The degree of the divisor is less than the degree of the remainder over here, so we keep going. So u squared into this minus 2u to the fourth will give me a minus 2u to the second. Take this partial quotient times the divisor. So minus 2u squared times u squared will be a minus 2u to the fourth. And then times the 1 will give me a minus 2u squared. And then we repeat, subtract here, minus 2u to the 4th, subtract minus 2u to the 4th, that cancels, and then 0 subtract the minus 2u to the 2nd gives me a positive 2u to the 2nd. 
the degree of the divisor is 2. The degree of the remainder is 2. So we keep going again. Divide by u squared, u squared into 2u squared. It can be a plus 2. And then multiply this partial quotient times the divisor. 2 times u squared will give me a 2u squared. Then 2 times 1 will give me a 2. Subtract here. 2u squared subtract 2u squared cancels. And then 0 subtract 2. This gives me a minus 2. So now I just replace the integrand, this 2u to the 6 over u squared plus 1. But what I got, so what did I get? The quotient here, when I divided the numerator, the numerator by the denominator, gave me 2u to the 4th minus 2u squared plus 2. So this is going to be equal to then 2u to the 4th minus 2u squared plus 2. And then the remainder is minus 2, but remember that's over the divisor. So I'll just put the minus here and then it's 2 over the u squared plus 1. So the first three terms are just basic terms involving a polynomial, trinomial there. So easy integration, 2u to the fourth minus 2u squared plus 2. So let's bring it over here, equals 2. And then we just integrate term by term here. So general power rule here for integrals. So this will be 2. We add 1 to the exponent here on the first term, u, and get a 5. And divide the coefficient by that, we get 2 fifths. Minus. Same thing with the next one. Add 1 to the exponent, it's u squared. So it gives me a 3. Divide by 3. And then we get a plus 2. Integrate with respect to u. That'll give me a 2u. And we've got a minus 2 here. And we should have a du over here. And then we got minus 2 over u squared plus 1. So let's take out the minus 2. So we're integrating 1 over u squared plus 1. And that's just the tangent inverse of u. That's your formula for tangent inverse here. The integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 is tangent inverse of u plus your constant of integration. And remember, we let we let we let x equal to u to the fourth. So that means that u, of course, is equal to x to the one fourth power. The so final step then is going to be to just go back to the original variable. So this will be two fifths, and u is x to the one fourth. I'll put this as x to the five over four power. And then I got a minus two thirds again u is x to the one-fourth, that's taken to the third power, so this, this will just be x to the three-fourths power, plus two, u, and u is x to the one-fourth, and I got the minus two here, we got tangent inverse of u, and u is again x to the one-fourth, plus the constant of integration. So the final answer then, read this out just in case you can't read the scribbling here, but it's uh, 2 fifths x to the 5 fourths power minus 2 thirds x to the 3 quarter power plus 2 x to the 1 fourth power minus 2 tangent inverse of x to the 1 fourth power plus the constant of integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.